Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over the NFL Draft Promo, guys. As you guys can see here, NFL Draft Promo is officially in the game. Now, this is super exciting, guys, because the NFL Draft is approximately, I believe, nine days away, as you guys can see from here, the 29th. So, that's super awesome, guys, because, of course, Besides Madden point, right? Like, I love the draft. I'm a Giants fan. We have a pretty decent pick, you know, early, middle of the first, right? So, it's a pretty good pick. I'm excited. Also, I am I am in New York. So, of course, although I'm a Giants fan, it is kind of cool to see the Jets getting a new quarterback. You know, I'm not one of those, like, oh, I love the Giants. I hate the Jets kind of guys. Like, not a fan. But, you know, if they get a good quarterback and it brings some excitement back to New York football, that's cool for me, right? Also excited to see where some of the other early round guys go. Like, you know, obviously Trevor Lawrence, the Jaguars more than likely. But then to see where some other guys fall. Like, who did the Niners get, right? It's going to be cool. And in terms of Madden, we get all that reciprocated in here as well. So, definitely awesome in here to see. So, I'm definitely excited about that. But moving on over, guys. NFL Draft. Welcome to the NFL Draft program. Add draft standouts from previous years to your ultimate team by completing these missions. Make sure to come back at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on 429 for special draft night experiences. Look into it, guys. Earn a late round Nat 97 overall draft hero, guys. Now, so complete this challenge to earn a Nat uh, 97 overall version of Harold Carmichael, Wyatt Teller, AJ Bouye, or Shaq Barrett. So that, of course, does mean you get to go ahead and get one of those players for free. Earn a late round draft mask. Collect two 97 overalls and one 95 overall draft pass players to exchange them for 99 overall NFL draft master Antonio Brown or Cam Chancellor. There's going to be two 99 overalls, Antonio Brown or Cam Chancellor. And I believe you can get them for free. So complete this challenge. You get 197 for free, of course. We're going to go through a little bit and check this all out, though. Let's go to the solos here. Go to the NFL Draft Pro solos and see what we got going on here. NFL Draft solos. Uh, beat all these challenges to earn a 97 overall draft player fantasy pack. So, of course, guys, you get an 89 overall plus for free. You get 89 overall plus for free. You're going to get another 89 overall plus for free. And you get a 99 overall nfl draft pass player pack guys so if you get all 100 448 stars guys you will be able to go ahead and get a free 99 overall now of course guys all the solos are not out yet there's gonna be more you'll probably have to play on draft nights actually go ahead and get them. a lot of these stars so right now it's only 160 you're going to need about 448 i believe so that's going to be a lot guys you do get a free 99 overall now of course we'll check out who the free 99 overall is as soon as we get to that part let's go to the store check this out guys so we got the draft uh, starter pack Draft Blast Pack. Let's see what the odds are in here. 89 plus is actually 100% because, of course, it's going to be at 93 overall plus. At 97 overall is almost 10% here, guys. So, it's actually not too horrible, to be quite honest with you guys. Um, you know, of course, there's going to be draft bundles to collect, you know, 97 overalls here. Draft Legendary Bundle. A draft legendary pack contains... Ooh, there's some Ultimate Legend players in there as well as draft players. So, if you look at this... Not horrible odds here. 97 plus is actually 10%. So, that's pretty good there. Legendary Intangibles Pack. Contains two 93 overall NFL draft players and one ultimate legend, guys. These packs aren't... 96 plus is 14%. That's really not too horrible. 97 plus is 9.7. These packs are not bad, guys. They look decent, of course. We have been we have gotten to the new series and everything, so of course, these packs are going to look a little bit better than they were. And then we have an 89 overall NFL draft pass player plus 89 plus for 180 trophies. So, gives you guys something to use your trophies on, so that's not horrible. Considering we've had trophies for a while and a lot of people have nothing to really use them on anymore. Let's go to unopened packs. I know I have a few packs in here. Uh, nope, that's not the one I want to open. Oh, it's just a Madden Bowl pack. So we'll let that go. I know I have a third one. I was hoping it would be the starter, the draft starter stuff, but I do not see that there. So let's get through this, guys. Just Madden Bowl stuff. All right. Back out of that. Okay, so I guess it's not going to be my pack. Whatever. Let's head over to the sets and check out some of the players here. So... NFL draft set should be live, of course. You know, we always have issues, but NFL draft set right here. So this does look super cool, guys, for the most part. Um, that's a really cool, like, set animation right there. Oh, set, not set animation, set graphic. Complete these sets, earn NFL draft pass, and rookie players following this selection. So first, we got the NFL draft pass. Let's start there. 99, Antonio Brown, but he was, like, I think, like, a six-round pick. He was a pretty late-round pick. So I know for a fact Antonio Brown is not going to be that guy. That was like the first pick, right? We got Cam Chance and then overall. See, these are one of the free ones you can get. So we're gonna check out the stats and see who's worth it. We got Harold Carmichael, like six foot seven, six foot eight, maybe six foot nine wide receiver. That's pretty crazy. Wyatt Teller, right guard for the um, that's called Browns. AJ Bouye, cornerback for the Panthers, and Shaq Barrett, outside linebacker for the Buccaneers. Now that's pretty cool. Then we got draft night rookies, right? 
So there's the first pick. If you get, the, if you complete the first pick set, guys, exchange two 97 overalls and 195 draft players, earn the 99 overall first round pick. That's not horrible, guys. If you get this, that means you probably get Trevor Lawrence. Pick two, maybe we get Zach Wilson. Pick three, maybe Justin Fields or Mac Jones. And so on and so forth, all the way down to pick 10. So that's pretty cool, guys. So pretty much you just finish these sets. You get a collectible. And on draft night, that collectible will end up probably becoming, well, more than likely the player that's projected to go there, right? Things could change. The only really guarantee what I'd say here is probably pick one and maybe pick two. That's about it right there. So if you guys want Trevor Lawrence 99, that's kind of the way to do it. Now let's head on over to the store and let's go check out some of the players that should be on the block at this point. So we can go ahead and see what we're working with here, right? So I'll start with 99 overall ones because those are the free ones, right? We got to see which one's the best one to take. Well, give you guys an idea at least, right? Hopefully the NFL draft is here because last week they didn't give us a thing for that. And that was kind of annoying. Oh, we got an LTD. We got Shannon Sharp in the game. So let's actually start with him. Shannon Sharp, LTD, 99 overall tight end. Only a 92 speed. No wonder he's so cheap. Um, we should have definitely, that should have been a 94 speed minimum. Powered up in Kenda, he gets like 95, 96 speed. So that's not bad, but the fact that he doesn't get 90, 99 speed kind of sucks. Strength going to be good. Catch is going to end up being around a 99. Catch and traffic is going to be around a 99. Spec catch will be high 90s. Uh, short running will be a 99. Medium running will be a 99. And run blocking is good. He's a really good tight end. It's just that he's not that big of a speed upgrade over like Shockies and some of the other tight ends we have in the game anyways. Um, agility is good though. 90 agility. Going to have 86 change of direction. 92 truck. 97 carrying is pretty good. Uh, 95 stiff arm is really good as well. 85 run block power. 85 impact block. All this stuff is going to be really good, right guys? Of course. So... 80 lead block and so on and so forth 93 break tackle all of these are some really good stats overall the card's just great card's great but the speed's going to hurt him so that's why he's not going to be you know game breaking you know and he's not gonna have that crazy expensive price cam chancellor 95 speed of course well, like, why, why do they keep giving us 95 speed secondary guys right like that's just like a thing they keep doing so Although he will be able to get up to about a 98 speed, which is still pretty good. And he's six foot three. So, you know, it's not going to hurt him too much. But it's just kind of annoying that we're still getting cards like that. Acceleration going to be a 97. Tackle going to be around a 98. Play rec going to be a 99. Pursuit going to be a 99. Man coverage will be about a 96. Zone will be a 99. Hit power will be a 99. Six foot three, guys. Still a really, really good strong safety. And then, of course, strength going to get up to around an 87. Agility is pretty good at 93. Um, let's see. 83 catching for Cam Chancellor. This might be a really good user card. Change of direction is going to be around a 93. Impact blocking 87. I wonder what his block shed is. Let's see if I can find that down here somewhere. Block shed's an 86. That's actually really good as well. Um, you know, press 81. This card's really good. The card's good. I wish he had one more speed, but again, 98 speed, six foot three, six foot three more than enough to make up for it. That's a pretty good car right there. So now it just comes down to Antonio Brown. If Antonio Brown at least has a 96 speed, I'll be happy. Uh, I hope they didn't give him a 95. 96, okay. So let's say Antonio Brown deep threat. Power up and Kemda, people have a 99 speed, 96 jumping, 99 catching, 99 catching traffic, 97 spec, 99 short running, 99 medium route running, and 96 deep route running. So overall, as a card, he's going to be a great catcher, great route runner, 99 speed. Agility's going to be 98, that's insane. Acceleration's going to be 99, that's insane. Carrying going to be 95, that's insane. Change of direction, 98, that's insane as well. 99 ball carry vision, 85 stiff. Going to have a 98 juke move, which is crazy, 93 spin. Going to have a 95 break tackle. Um, this is tough. I actually really do like Antonio Brown, but he is—he's kind of—he's on the shorter side, of course. You know, he's going to be only five foot ten versus Cam Chancellor six foot three. So if you're a guy that likes height, you probably go with Cam Chancellor. But overall, guys, Antonio Brown's pretty insane to be completely honest with you guys. Next, we have these guys. We have Harold Carmichael. Who I do want to see. Please tell me they gave him at least a 96 speed, 94 speed, of course. Um, so he's only going to get to a 97 speed, probably 98 speed, which kind of sucks. I mean, it is what it is, I guess, right? So, Harold Carmichael is still he's still good. I mean, he's 6 foot 8. He's going to get uh, short running 99, deep running. He'll only get to a 98. I mean, the card's okay. I mean, the card's good. It's not. It's, you know, I just think that I wish the speed was 99. He's still going to be huge. So if you like big receivers, huge guy. Low juke, low change of direction overall. There's a few things I don't like about that card. And then these guys as well, guys. I mean, I'm not going to go through all these cards here because, of course, there are lower overall cards. I just want to see the ones that I think could be good. AJ Bouye is probably on the slower side as well. They gave him a 95, though. Not horrible. Good for a Panthers theme team, Broncos theme team, Jaguars theme team, right? Good for a few reasons there. And then let's see Shaq Barrett. Uh, I mean, why I tell it's just line. We don't really care about that. Shaq Barrett going to be 97 overall. Let's see. Powered up, too, as well. He can 99 finesse move, good block shed, pretty good speed. Shaq Bear is not that bad. If you get a free 97, Shaq Bear will probably be the guy to take. But yeah, guys, overall, that's it. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that on to bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always, guys. 
And that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you need coins, head over to my coin link down below. I'm out. Peace.